Oh, good morning, YouTube. Our camera woman's went to bed on us, so we're back to the selfie stick and a vice trick. And this video, I will be fill stripping this little Beretta Tomcat. It's in 32 ACP. I may fumble a little bit because I think I've only fill stripped it once. It's not really that difficult. Basically, you would take and start by flipping your barrel up. Then you want to pull back on your slide a little bit and pull up on the front at the same time. Then it will allow you to slide it forward like that. And then your slide comes off. It's that simple to field strip it down to slide and barrel off frame and then I'm assuming that you have a retention pin for your firing pin but I'm not taking that out of this one I'm just going to give it a good cleaning for my mother-in-law put it back together and it should be ready to go, which I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can still see the oil on it from the last time that I cleaned it. It being a hinged barrel, it's rather easy to clean. Don't have to really take the barrel off. So this is going to be a really short video because to put it back together it's basically the reverse operation take your slide right here is your little notches that your slide fits in you just take and set it down over your frame behind your little dog leg to kick your shell out and then all you would do is once you have it down in your grooves, all you which this is a very stiff slide, is once you have it there and you've got things lined up, it just come, slides back a little bit, seeks down, and your barrel comes back down and your barrel actually keeps your slide solid which I'll be honest with you this is a very neat little pistol I have shot it before it shoots well it is in a double action single action so you can shoot it either way as I said your slide is not very stiff with your hammer cocked but try to demonstrate if you're trying to rack the slide without the hammer cocked it <clears throat> it's very rough I can do it but try not to make too much noise part of the reason for the flip up barrel put your magazine insert your round and now you're ready to fire Sorry about that, YouTube. My camera cut off on me again. But as I was saying, it's fairly fairly easy. Insert your magazine. Flip your barrel. Insert your first round. Close it. And then safety on. Now when you're ready to fire, safety off. And squeeze the trigger. After the first shot, it will rack back. Round the neck, round the next one in. Your hammer will be cocked, so you will be ready to fire in single action only mode, or single action. Which the reason it's designed for that is safety. Because in order to carry this condition one with a round in the chamber, you would have to take and. 
put your magazine in, rack it, and then try to ease off. Well, if I suppose you could carry a condition one hammer back, but if you wanted to, because it is a double action firearm, if you didn't feel comfortable carrying it like that, you'd have to take it and try to ease the trigger off with or ease the hammer off on a loaded chamber. So, but like I said, it's a neat little firearm. It's a little small for my hands, you know, but you should be gripping with your thumb and your two middle fingers anyways for a proper grip. But oh no no. Like I said, it's a neat little gun. Thirty two ACP is a little a little smaller than I'm comfortable myself carrying, but You know, would you rather have, you know, 32 ACP or a sharp stick when you need to defend yourself? So, I'm going to cut this video off here before I ramble on much more. And I'm going to give this little bugger a nice clean up, some fresh oil, and it will be ready to return. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. If you want to see more of my content... And I'll talk to everybody later.